Hello, dear viewers, and welcome to a new episode of Windows. I'm your host for tonight, Muhammad Abdul Rahim. And tonight we'll be talking about uh, the um, role of uh, cinema, the role of uh, documentaries, uh, the role of uh, art uh, in uh, promoting uh, tourism. And uh, we are delighted to have with us here in the studio film critic, Dr. Amira Hamid. Uh, Dr. Amira, very good evening to you. And thank yeah. you for uh, joining us. So it's a long story. I mean, yes. if we talk about the history of, uh, uh, you know, Egyptian or Arab cinema promoting uh, tourism, um, documentaries, festivals yes. like the recent, uh, for instance, Al Alamein uh, festival, festival or Al Gona festival that has been going on for years, really successfully. Yes. Um, it's a big, big topic. So I want to give the mic to you, okay. and uh, you remind us of some of the great Egyptian uh, uh, cinema works that promoted uh, uh, tourism and of any existing uh, plans. I want to start with cinema. Okay. In cinema, we really have such a rich history in promoting tourism. I will uh, mention something that no one could, uh, no one remember. Al Wasad Al Khalia by uh, by uh, Abdul Halim Hafiz, Hafiz, Abdul Halim Hafiz, and Lobna Abdul Aziz, yes. directed by Salah Abu Saif. Mm. You know this obst uh, this obelisk. They were sculpting the names on. Uh, they were in Al Matareya. Mm. It was an archaeological and uh, and a site of antiques mm. in Egypt. But you know. Um, uh, the Ministry of uh, Tourism and, uh, and Antiques pr uh, prohibited shooting in such a place because in, this, in the real novel, uh, uh, the hero and the heroine uh, sculpturing their names on the obstacle. And you know, Abdul Halim Hafiz has a great popularity, so uh, they were, uh, they, there, were fear, uh, there was fear of uh, youth and lovers coming to this place and sculpturing the names on the obstacles and disfigure this monument, so they stopped shooting and it was artificial. But in the real novel, it was an archaeological site in Matareya, and there was an obelisk too. And the real scenario, he said uh, to Samiha, you know that we walked uh, from uh, Masri Gedida to Matareya, and we didn't feel it. So uh, a very interesting story, more. really, and a okay. uh, very then interesting also piece of information. Yes. So uh, I will we stick with cinema. Something that came to my mind uh, uh, bluntly yes. is uh, Layla Murad uh, singing. Uh, on the Matruh beach. Uh. And I'm saying the Matruh beach in Egypt's northern coast because we just, we're seeing what's happening now in the new Al Alamein city in uh, Ras al Hikmah and, and all over the north coast of yes. the beautiful Mediterranean north coast of, uh, of Egypt. So wouldn't you say that also such Shat a great al song, yeah, Shat al Gharam. Oh. Uh, uh, that, that, that could be considered at least it's now a promotion to Matruh and, and, and to tourism. Yes, and this coast, uh, Shat al Gharam mm. with uh, Hassan Sidi and Laila Murad, mm. it was an mm. early promotion yeah. to this place. You know, it changed message. Uh, yani, there, there was a great change there, but it's an early promotion to this place, also Gharam for Karnak. Mm. Of course. Shooted in 19, uh, 1967 uh, by Reda Troop, dancing Troop. You mm. know, uh, this. Uh, Speaking of the Karnak Temple, the Karnak I remember a movie where Omar Sharif was in and there was. Right, there yes. was a, a, a uh, pursuit. Uh, yes. A, 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 um, a gun well. pursuit, maybe, <laughs> yeah, inside the Karnak Temple. It's, mm. it's a place of mm. the actions, yes. Mm. It could be good. Uh, we, mm. may, uh, we may say it was uh, a promotion yeah. to tourism, but you mm. know, this battle and shooting and something like so, they didn't focus on, the play, on, on monuments in right, this right. place. Uh, but you know that we have, I mentioned before, Gharam for Karnak. Uh, actually, this dancing troupe was performing in Il Karnak Temple, and the idea was to make this movie as a theatrical uh, show. Uh, Mahmoud Rida and Ali Rida thought that if this holy temple, the pharaohs came out, all the ancient Egyptians came out of their death, and uh, found that this troupe is dancing in this holy place, what would they do? And after this, they thought it is a good idea for a theatrical, a theatrical show, and thought it is a good one if it was a movie. Okay. Mm, uh, so uh, Gharam Fil Karnak uh, talk plays, and it was a great uh, movie promoting tourism, and also about the song which mm. was heard and very famous all over the world. And um, 
also it was a promotion of how to deal with tourists and how this art could be a power uh, to show this artistic sites and this places uh, whenever and the festival of this movie uh, was shown and also uh, was big promotion to Egypt. We have also short to Fanella Okep with the shooting that, that's a, yeah, very recent, uh, uh, recent that compared well. to what we were talking about. Yes. I want to stay uh, a little bit uh, mm. in, in the um, mm. nice uh, or beautiful old times. Uh. Uh, since you mentioned Luxor Baladna Balad Suwaih, what about Dalida's famous, amazing song, Hilwa Ya Baladi? And wouldn't this a piece of art, this classical uh, um, song with all the shooting that uh, surrounded it be considered a, a, a promotion. It's still being aired right now yes. until today. Dalida, it's a masterpiece. Yes, Dalida, Dalida didn't Hilway forget. Dalida, Dalida or Yolanda, mm, which, is, yeah. which was born here yeah. in Trobra in Egypt, yeah. didn't forget that her role was she was Egyptian mm. from the beginning. Mm. And uh, this, uh, this song, not only this song, it's really a masterpiece, but I'm going to tell you that there is an American composer and writer called Amun Star. She derived her name from Amun, uh, the god in the Egyptian mm. um, in the old Egyptian uh, religion. Mm. Uh, this uh, American composer and singer launched her uh, album here in Egypt. For, uh, she stayed in Egypt, in Egypt for five years. It's so recent. And she and uh, her album sh was shooted in the place called the Black uh, Pyramid. Mm. Uh, the Pyramid of the King Imnamhad III. And her name also is derived from the old Egyptian uh, civilization. Uh, so this, uh, her album was uh, launched here in Egypt, and it's really it got promotion. You said the leader, and this another one uh, mm. came to Egypt to shoot here in Egypt. We'll later we're going to speak about cinema movies, global cinema movies worldwide. Yeah, of course. The stock place in Egypt. So can we consider, because um, you know, many, many movies, for instance, mm. show the pyramids. I mean, mm. so many countless movies you can yes. think of that uh, had scenes at, at the pyramids. Mm. Uh, um, I'm not just going to say al hub fuq hadabat al haram. I mean, it's not, not the... Not it wasn't not the topic, but yeah. it's in yeah, top it place. Wasn't. It's yeah, top place. But, but because the, 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 um, the name or the title of the movie mm. included the, the word pyramid. Mm. But what I meant is... Um, a lot of movies also, for instance, show the Nile, our beautiful Nile. Yes. So wouldn't this be considered an indirect um, sort of promotion to tourism, especially hmm. at, at least hmm. to the Arab public, to the Egyptian and Arab public? Of course, this is true hmm. because, you know, the Nile has a very good hair. It's, very, it's part of the Egyptian heritage to throw out the Egyptian civilization and along with the Egyptian person. Nile has many stories and you know that many um, legends took place on, this, on the banks of the Nile and actually now we are, uh, there are many uh, movies, documentary movies took place through the Nile, one from, uh, one uh, casted by Yusra and was directed by Ramses, uh, uh, Ramses, uh, Ramses uh, Marzou, uh, shot by Ramses Marzou. Uh, this one, one of the most popular docu uh, docu uh, documentary movie, but it's not so famous. But the Nile also, we have cartoons such as Bakar and many other uh, mm. uh, raising uh, mm. uh, uh, many other movies took place by cooperation by uh, the authority of uh, tourism promotion and the Ministry of Tourism. Uh, one called uh, Masr Halwa and uh, one called the Masr Al Hadara, uh, presented by uh, the Magister Khaled Al Nabawi, uh, talking about the civilization stock place here in Egypt. And you know, on the platform Shahid, now we have one cut by Salsambad called Ahna Meen. Right. She's talking of the uh, three parts. Uh, it's talking about uh, the heritages and important place uh, and important civilization that took place here in Egypt, the pharaohs, the Romans, uh, Islamic, the Arabs, uh, uh, the Greece one, all these events, also the religious tourism, mm. which is very important part here in Egypt. You know, Egypt is the road of the Holy Family in Sinai and Upper Egypt too, and the Pope of the Vatican asked the pilgrimages, Christians, to come here in Egypt and uh, visit this road. At, and we have also many Christian uh, 
Thesis and uh, right. and and even stop lesser in Egypt. It's really uh, very attractive to all Christian people around the world. It's right. a very good promotion. Um, many movies mm. uh, and sometimes even drama uh, TV series mm. uh, have in their um, um, introduction um, uh, um, theme the, the the title what we what we call uh, tit. Mm. Uh, the the, the tits of, uh, of the of avant the, uh, the, yeah, the, the yes. intro, uh, the intro, or the intro. Uh, take for instance shots of old Cairo, shots of uh, uh, Tahrir Square and downtown, mm. shots of uh, the Nile River, shots of the pyramids area, shots of uh, mm. places in um, um, beaches in Sinai. Um, or or uh, shots in Alexandria, that beautiful city that really comprises uh, all uh, elements or all um, eras of Egypt's history. Mm. Uh, how was this effective in promoting uh, okay. tourism, or important at least to link at least the the Egyptian uh, um, or Arab uh, viewer to this beautiful piece of land? According to the ongoing talk, I'm going to, you said the drama, the, the yeah. drama series, yeah. I'm going to mention something that was very close to us in the 90s, Helm el mm. It's a movie, it's a drama series casted by uh, the late uh, uh, Salah Saabani, mm. uh, mm. Hassan Hosni, and actually it was a masterpiece. It's, it's uh, combined all these shoots, Upper Egypt and Alexandria as well. Uh, it talked about a historical uh, history teacher who's really concerned with his his issue and delivering the real story tale to all people and not to uh, uh, not to, uh, not to participate it was against the selling and uh, smuggling uh, artists uh, antiques to uh, to Europe and others and stealing antiques uh, he discovers by accident El Hag Amran El Ger. He was a big uh, smuggler of uh, antiques, and by accident he found uh, a pharaonic uh, piece, and he gave it to uh, to Nasr Wahdan Al Ot, casted by Salah Saabani, and he found that it's a map to the tomb of Alexander the Great. So he steal it and got back to Alexandria to really. Uh, to read more in the, uh, in the library of Alexandria, this great one for culture. Uh, many events took place, many actions took place, but finally it was a great promo promotion to Upper Egypt and a great, uh, a great raising to the awareness of the danger of smuggling uh, antiques and how could uh, the state um, protect our monuments. Uh, actually, that uh, was a great uh, role of, to dra uh, of drama in uh, promotion of tourism and raising awareness to how to deal with tourists and how to, avo uh, to protect our heritage. Well. Uh, b before we move away from um, uh, the silver or, or the golden screen, yes. there was a, a movie really, uh, I think, um, that is a classic mm -hmm. uh, called uh, Al Mumia. Oh, Shadi Abdel Salam, Salam masterpiece. And, and Ahmed Marai was, oh. uh, the, the st uh, I think, the played the mm -hmm. leading yes, role. Yes, cast by Ahmed Marai. Yeah. And uh, Hamd Al Hakim. Yeah. Mm. So how how important was was that uh, uh, um, uh, in this context, the context of promoting terrorism, that special work? Okay. The Mummy is a masterpiece. It couldn't be repeated. All everything by Shadi Abdel Salam couldn't be repeated. Shadi Abdel Salam was genius one. He was side by side uh, to Yusuf Shaheen, but Shadi Abdel Salam has two or three only masterpieces. He put all his efforts in them. Uh, for example, the Mumia, and there was another one called Aknaten, but it, it wasn't completed because to uh, financial uh, obstacles. Okay, talking about the Mummy, it's a movie. Uh, they called this movie is festival movie. It could not be uh, shown to people and uh, normal people and normal Egyptian citizens couldn't understand it. But they understand it. But that was that's why it was launched to the citizens. I think 10 or 15 years after it was launched in worldwide festivals. Uh, the movie is talking about uh, a troop called El Horabat. Actually, it, it is based on a true story of uh, the discovery of the mummies of Idir al-Bahari. 
uh, this troupe was living on selling the antiques of this uh, and the monuments, the antiques of this uh, uh, this uh, mummies, and uh, this f uh, and the head of the troupe was killed, and uh, their two sons also discovered this mysterious uh, uh, living, this mysterious source of living uh, for this troupe. So the young one, uh, Ahmed Mary, decided to uh, report. Um, in Matahaf al Masri, here in Egypt, the Egyptian Museum, and they sent uh, scientists to discover this place after his uh, older cousin, older cousin, was uh, was killed. Also, uh, it's really a masterpiece because every every scene, every shot in this mm. movie mm. was really drawn hand uh, hand made by Shadi Abd al Salam. Mm. Even it took many places. Uh, you know, this uh, movie when you s when, when you watch it, it's only colored by black, blue, and white. Just those three, three colors to form um, the, uh, the semiology of the photo in the cinema uh, that it, it resembles an old story. And also the language which is used, the scenario uh, and dialogue that is used in the movie was so ancient and it was in the Arab, in the, um, we could say, not uh, public uh, language, not lang public uh, accent of the Egyptian words. Uh, actually, it was a masterpiece, and it was a very uh, remarkable promotion for uh, Egyptian, Egyptian tourism and Egyptian places and Egyptian cultures. Actually, it talks about a real story occurred in Abar Egypt. So, uh, every uh, magazine, every critic, Talk about, talked and, writ and wrote about this movie uh, was a very good promotion and raising awareness about how Egypt is the center of the monuments in the world. Indeed, and, uh, and I think uh, Ahmed Marai's uh, performance was brilliant. Yes. And uh, you are a film critic, so I don't want to, uh, you know, I want to stay with you in this because this is your specialty, yes. uh, uh, although it's away from the topic a little bit. But I think that Ahmed Marai. Uh, is one of the most unsung mm. uh, um, uh, talents in the history of the Egyptian cinema. I think he deserved so much more. W would you agree w with this? I'm with you, of course, but you know opportunities in life are not fair. Mm. So uh, mm. his opportunity in mm. cinema was, uh, I think mm. he took it in this movie, even mm. it was his own role, because mm. this movie was a masterpiece. He wasn't taking his, his evaluation, his good evaluation here in Egypt, but when he was sent, it was sent mm. to Cannes and other festivals, they said it's a masterpiece. And uh, mm. he... I, I, I would give him 10 out of 10. And yes, and okay, and everything. And you, would you agree? Yes, I mean, of course. Every yes, he chose every part of this mm. movie, mm. dialogue, scenario, mm. actors, this is Hamza al Hakim, mm. uh, and all the uh, and every scene I told you was even the moving of the sand, the sunrise, mm. and the uh, mm. direction of the wind. Mm. Everything in this movie was handmade mm. by Shadi Abdus Salam. Even the sketches still exist right now, mm. and they're keeping it in Alexandria, in Alexandria Library, in a special department for Shadi Abdus Salam. And I think it was the, um, a, a, a genius uh, choice from Ch Shadi Abdus Salam to, to pick Ahmed Marai, mm. uh, because I don't think anybody could have done the role the way he, he did. Yes, anybody. even uh, Nadia Lutfi shared mm. in this movie was mm. on with only one mm. scene, and she mm. accepted to share with only mm. silent. Uh, with she mm. didn't have dialogue, she was right. just a silent actor. Mm. But she could, you know, the makeup also, everything yeah. happened. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It, it was a masterpiece. It was a complete, it was a complete work. Dr. Amira, uh, documentaries, tell us about some famous documentaries that uh, prom successfully promoted Egyptian tours. One called uh, Masra Halwa, it's talking about uh, people of Egypt, how they deal with uh, the tourists, and how could the citizen uh, be. Uh, be aware of how to deal them for as a guest, not as foreigners. You know the difference between mm. them when you, uh, the hospitality, mm. I mean the warm hospitality, and, mm. not, uh, and not to deal with them. Uh, you know, there were also um, 
bad habits in dealing with tourists for late, for late times that made some tourists get away from Egypt, like trying to uh, put high prices for, uh, for, for things, uh, things are being sold to them and something like so. So uh, how to deal right with them. Also, the other one I said called the Masra Hadara, Egypt of Civilization, um, uh, casted by Khalid al Nabawi. He was just a broadcaster in this movie. He, uh, the movie was uh, a documentary one. So uh, he was going to places like uh, uh, Benezra Sangogo, the, it, the Jewish temple, and uh, mosques, many mosques, I think, I think mm. the Azhar movie, the mm. Azhar, uh, Al Azhar uh, mosque, and talked about and the many churches, churches in uh, old Egypt, Masr al Adima, mm. uh, the seven churches, uh, Marigirgis, and many other places. He was talking about the civilizations took place here in Egypt. Mm. Uh, such a professional movie, it's very good one. Shooting was perfect, and he gives all and also uh, the good translation that was written on the movie uh, actually it was very good promotion for Asia to tourism festivals um, tell us about the Gona festival mm. uh, uh, um, a, a very successful one for years now mm. and now uh, the Al Alameen festival, Al -Alameen so festival of mm. course Festivals are very successful events that gather cultures and people from all over the world to come to Egypt to see and from other cultures also not to you know to communicate here in Egypt actually Egypt from the dawn of the history are gathering I'm telling that I can't say that it's a salad bowl we are all mixed origins here in Egypt but I'm talking about the citizens we don't uh, all Egyptians are mixed is uh, 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 mixed origins Mamluk uh, pharaohs old Egypt's uh, Arabs, Arabs, Arabs mm. uh, also Africans. Greece Africans mm. Greek mm. Uh, we are mm. mixed origins here in Egypt. So we are regaining this era again by festivals because many people I'm, I'm listening to other foreigners and guests coming to Egypt they really love uh, love uh, the weather here in Egypt and they want to come and share. Uh, when applying uh, to this movies by cinema uh, films that share in this movie many, pe many people and many uh, film critics, many film mo mov many movie stars, many others interesting in cinema will come to Gona and this is what happened. You know there is a questionnaire talk place uh, in 2019 about the, uh, about the beginning of this festival and show that tourists really knew, who didn't knew that El Gona uh, uh, festival came and talk about this about this town about uh, how touristic uh, ab about uh, about tourism there and the Red Sea and other places in this uh, town really was uh, very attractive to other tourists also uh, besides uh, the movie and art interested people who came uh, to share in this uh, film festival and also to visit this place, Santa Catrine, uh, and all the coast, uh, the Red Sea coast as well. What about Al Alameen festival? And we saw a lot of uh, um, singing um, uh, concerts, we saw some sports events, we saw some children's uh, Ch children uh, uh, events. They, created tr uh, they also mm. created children festivals as well. Mm. Okay, and Alameen is uh, la the latest one, the most famous one. Actually, Amr al Adi, the head of uh, the CEO of uh, the authority of uh, promoting, festi uh, promoting tourism, uh, declared that uh, Al Alameen festivals had many rules. Uh, besides promoting tourism in the, north, in the northern coast in Egypt also, it, uh, it's a good promotion to the investmental projects there. Uh, because when the tourists come to Egypt to visit them, uh, f visit it and buy apartments there, you could guarantee a continuous visit to Egypt many times during, uh, during the year, not only in summer and not only uh, during the, fest uh, the festival. And the long term uh, and the long period of the festival uh, make others have make other tourists have good opportunities along the year to come. Also, we have concerts by uh, musician musicians and singers like Kazim Seher, Muhammad Munir, who share in this uh, festival. It's good 
also for Arabs to come here who speaks Arabic. T uh, they are fond of Egyptian uh, so art. Magda Rumi was there. Yes, Magda uh, Rumi, Simon, Amr and Diab, many Amri Diab, many, mm. many more. Uh, can, yes, many, mm. many, many old mm. modern uh, troops. Hamza uh, Hamra, yeah. Yes, mm. many older singers, many, mm. many uh, professionals, and mm. many also uh, late mm. ones came mm. and traveling these festivals. Also, it uh, reflects that. Um, there is a point that tourists around the world, because the unrest occurs uh, occur in the Middle East, they were fear of coming and visit countries in Middle East. Uh, the festivals going on on Egyptian lands like Alamein or Gona that emphasize that Egypt uh, safe has and safe and secure. So you may come and uh, guarantee your safety. Uh, uh, although we have geographical uh, conflicts, and geopolitical uh, tension, yes, geopolitical yes. tension, yes. Mm. But Egypt is safe, and we should emphasize on this by festivals and and film festivals or art mm. is a good messenger for all this. Without talking. Speaking <laughs> of festivals, uh, the, the Al Qala or Mahkal Al Qala, yes, yeah, is, is ongoing right now. And yes, we have singers uh, sharing. We have yeah. singers sharing, but you mm. know, it's about local tourism more. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's very important one. Yeah. I'm, I'm saying that it's also important for the youth to know their heritage and and mm. hear uh, about uh, this historical places. We mm. also say that we have influential uh, tones. Uh, about narrators, the Sotu Do by the famous Mahmoud Yassin, it's so brief and stalled, and, and it's narrated by many languages mm. for tourism. As you know, when you hear something, it's a little bit easier than mm. reading and searching. Mm. You give the tourist and the citizen as well a really brief and con a really brief and con con uh, condensed con content about the the monuments, about this artist, about uh, this. Uh, antique so it's really a good idea for uh, people here in Egypt and the foreigners as well to take a brief overview and encourage them to read more if they are interested and of course they will be interested to read about their heritage because it's really part of the promotion that the youth is really aware uh, uh, raising the awareness of the children as well the uh, the Egyptian citizens since he is a child until he is youth and a man about protecting about his heritage about knowing good uh, and a proper information about his history for years uh, dr. Amira uh, Egyptian soft power mm. uh, has played a big role in promoting uh, tourism uh, I want to speak about specific um, personalities maybe Omar al-Sharif Mm. Uh, uh, today we have Mohammed Salah, we, oh. well, um, the famous footballer, of course. Mm. So, how can uh, um, key uh, global uh, stars um, mm. uh, influ positively influence uh, the promotion of, uh, of tourism? Talk about the history and, and what we should do next. Amr Sharif is a mega star, it's not comparable with anyone. You can't compare Amr Sharif and also Rudy Abaza, who shared in two or three movies global mm. ones by uh, Italian ones and one called mm. uh, uh, El Bar El Garbi, I think uh, mm. it was. One of the, uh, the and movies and even we're shooting. his beautiful movie with Lubna Abdul Aziz could uh, be considered yes, uh, yeah, some sort of uh, yes. Uh, yeah, the, yes, the Nile River had a big the Nile River yeah. and mm. you you mm. mentioned this mm. really good it's mm. real it's talking about digging in archaeological places mm. he was he was an engineer yeah, yeah. Uh, searching for oil yeah. Uh, yeah. beside the uh, in in archaeological yeah. places mm. it was really a voice to tell others it was mm. uh, it was a roaring mm. voice telling uh, others and diggers mm. not to st uh, how to be mm. careful mm. in uh, looking uh, for oil and mm. uh, or digging in archaeological places actually it was a great movie we're talking about uh, Omar al Sharif Amr Sharif was a great, I told uh, the great Amr Sharif. He had uh, many, many, uh, many movies in Hollywood, especially. He, uh, in France, uh, Scotland, he had a great worldwide history, uh, artistic history movies. But we could say that his fame uh, put others to search, uh, th th make uh, his audience search about. Uh, the roots of Amr Sharif Rivanita. Uh, allowing or um, uh, uh, persuading uh, producers to film mm. in, in uh, archaeological sites uh, mm. 
uh, could be a, a great boost to, to mm. Egypt's tourism. We see, for instance, Morocco uh, um, uh, doing yes. this. Um, what great are the future plans? I mean, do we have any future plans uh, in this uh, regard? Actually, Exploiting our great uh, heritage? We have a great heritage. We have a great places for shooting. Mm. But, you know, we, unfortunately, we lately knew that we could... Uh, make full use of shooting uh, worldwide movies here in Egypt and uh, making facilities and uh, remove obstacles and the heads of this. Uh, you know that uh, th we have only one uh, authority here in Egypt to the Egyptian movie, I think the Egyptian movie committee in the media uh, uh, city uh, that gives uh, licenses for movie to be shooted here in Egypt and there are good news that there, uh, there are 40 movies were shooted here in Egypt and uh, there, was, uh, there, is an, uh, there is one going here, it's called um, uh, the Fountain of Youth. Mm. The Fountain of Youth is a legend that uh, it's it's a very old legend about a fountain when someone drinks from it he becomes uh, young forever. And uh, this movie talks about uh, that this Fountain of Youth is under the biggest move uh, the biggest f uh, the biggest pyramid. It's called Khufu Pyramid. So uh, there were battles uh, and the m and this movie by the director Gay Ritchie and uh, produced by a mega company uh, called Skyscrapers uh, that. Uh, Produced uh, Mission Impossible. Uh, this movie will be the great, uh, will be a great one in promotion uh, for tourism in Egypt. We also have French movie called uh, the greatest, uh, the uh, Haram Khoufou, the great mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. Also, we have an American movie uh, called uh, Murder at the Embassy, also took place here in Egypt. And actually, it's really good opportunity. We can't waste here in Egypt because actually we are number one in the whole world in uh, archaeological places and also we wasted many things like the gladiator 2 and the gladiator 1 and the mummy which were, which were offers that uh, wa they wanted to shoot here in Egypt but due to obstacles they couldn't do this and they went to Morocco which got very great income there from shooting Mm. Unfortunately, but now we have many uh, many movies are going to be shooted this year, and they really um, to to arrive lately is be is better than uh, than not arriving at all. So we mm -hmm. arrived, Indeed. and uh, Indeed. yes. So we're going to see this happening in the, uh, yes. in, the f in the near future. Yes, yes, of course. Good, um, uh, Doctor uh, Amira. Um, uh, we're talking about you, you know cinema. Talking about art is. Uh, uh, is always fun uh, and we, we're combining it here with tourism and trying to see its effect on promoting uh, uh, tourism mm -hmm. so what other ideas do you have uh, um, that could make for a better promote Egypt markets itself I mean mm. you, you know we would have thought that ju you know just the, ma the name Egypt uh, because it's a brand Yes. Uh, so it markets itself. But in today's world, hmm. we always need to find innovative means of marketing. Hmm. Yes. Uh, so I want to ask you uh, on uh, ideas, to tell us some ideas, hmm. but how can we use cinema and art in general hmm. uh, in promoting uh, tourism in the upcoming period? Okay, in 2019, there were a cooperation between a broadcaster called uh, Roberto uh, Giacomo. It w he was Italian uh, broadcaster and he was famous for promotion and programs for tourism uh, in Italy and all Europe. This was in cooperation between him and Zahi Hawass, the great one. Uh, so it's one of the great promotions here in Egypt to use uh, mega stars and broadcasters and influencers around the world to shoot and speak about Egyptian tourism and archaeological sites. Also, the extensive uh, media coverage about the discoveries mm. Uh, mm. of the archaeological sites are mm. going on Egyptian land. So, it's really good uh, suggestion. Also, raising awareness to citizens. Uh, from uh, children and normal people, how to deal with tourists and how to be 
go to them how to deal with them in great and warm hospitality that's well known for the kind Egyptian citizens. Also, uh, we have, uh, I said, to, doc uh, to use documentary, more documentary uh, movies uh, and uh, make it with all languages to go around the world and to be heard and uh, showed all over the world. Also, increase film festivals. And there was a very great suggestion, one if we had I think it's a little bit imaginary, but we could make it uh, uh, more reasonable. If we, uh, if we designed, uh, some people said, if we designed a ship, uh, it's uh, designed like Pharaoh's, and she goes to, and she goes around the world in, uh, uh, she goes around the world and showing and performing Egyptian arts. Uh, I think it will incre increase the national income. It's just a suggestion. It's a little bit imaginary, but we could uh, well, it's okay work on it. We have a little great imagine, but we could work on it because actually troops all over the world come mm. to Egypt and go all over the world to get to increase the national income. Why don't we do so? We have the opportunity, we have the talents, we have uh, artists, we have people, we have heritage, we have the main topic. Uh, we, Egypt is number one in, to, uh, in uh, could come be number one in tourism of this uh, if we use arts and we use cinema and we use all what we got uh, to promote tourism. All right, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Amir Hamid, the thank film you. critic. Uh, we've enjoyed uh, having you uh, with us, and we thank hope to you. see you again. And thank you, dear viewers, for watching Windows. Please stay with Night TV International.